Hi, I'm Anna Lee Huber. Welcome to another author highlight. This week, I'm speaking with A.M. Stewart about her latest book, Allison. What's the title? The fourth book in my Harriet Gordon mystery series, Terror in Topaz. Uh, I haven't got a print book to show you, unfortunately, and it's a bit reflective on the mirror, but hopefully you can get an idea of the cover from uh, from my iPad there. And what readers will it appeal to? This, this like my other books, so if you're a lover of historical mysteries, and I assume if you're watching an Anna Lee Huber video, you are. Um, the Harriet Gordon mystery series is set in Singapore in 1910, so it's a slightly different kind of setting. And the fourth book was going to be my last, but uh, my readers have spoken, and apparently I'm not allowed to make it my last, so uh, I'm just saying it is the next book in the Harriet Gordon mysteries, although where it goes from here, it will be a slightly different series arc and we'll we'll I'm, I'm looking forward to see where it goes from here tell me three things about the book firstly it's it's set in singapore in or well, set in um, the far east or the near to me the near north in um in 1910 during the colonial period uh, most of the previous three books have all been set in Singapore, but for this one I thought I'd do something different and I've moved it north to uh, Kuala Lumpur, which was the, uh, which is the pre present um, capital of Malaysia, but was the uh, chief city of the um, Selangor state at the time, which is one of the federated Malay states. So a slightly different setting, which uh, which has been quite fun to play with. And one of the reasons I, I um wanted to move it to Kuala Lumpur was because there was an actual murder in Kuala Lumpur in 1911, so about the same time, where a, a British woman called Ethel Proudlock uh, shot dead her lover on the steps of her husband's house. He was the headmaster of the uh, big school in, in Kuala Lumpur, the Victoria Institution. Um, she was caught with a gun in her hand saying, I did it. So, I mean, there was no sort of question that she was, in fact, the perpetrator and the reason for his death. However, the the reason why, it's a why done it. I, I'm very intrigued as to why Ethel did what she did. And I wanted to explore that a bit further. So uh, it is a very famous murder, although it's quite a domestic murder in its own way, um, in that um, a young writer who was travelling in... Uh, Asia in the 1920s happened upon the lawyer who represented Ethel at her trial. Now his name was Somerset Maugham, William Somerset Maugham, and he wrote as a consequence of the, the lawyer telling him the story of Ethel Proudlock, Maugham went away and wrote a, a little short story, well quite a long short story actually, called The Letter. And The Letter went on to be a Betty Davis film, it's gone on to be an opera, it's gone on to be a stage play, and um, the original murder, of course, is uh, is almost forgotten now. So, but all that, and um, yes, yeah, so I can I can hope for a movie and a stage play and an opera, but we shall see what happens with it. Now for the fast five, what's your favorite frozen treat? It'll always be a um, a classic Magnum, which I'm not sure if you have those in America. They're they're a nice, rich, creamy vanilla ice cream covered in dark chocolate. And there's, there's variations on them, but the classic Magnum is my favorite. How about a hidden talent? I think probably um, I can sing. I like to sing. I wish I could sing more than I do. Um, I wish I'd had time for a bit more proper training than I've had, but that's say lovey. Uh, so give me half a, half a chance and I'll sing anywhere. <laughs> and I mean anywhere. What about your strangest quirk? Um... The difficult one about strangest and funniest quirks, because, you know, I think I'm perfect. I don't think I have any strange or funny quirks. And I was going to ask my husband, but he's he's away at the moment. Um, I'm sure he'd have plenty to plenty to uh, label label me with. Um, you know, I have a very British background, so there's sometimes very British bits of me that come out. I mean, I, one does like to get one's nice things out for Christmas, like one's silver. Um, but I think I shall just go with practically perfect in every way. A beverage of choice. As I'm quite fond of most alcoholic drinks, uh, I, I am well known for my preference for a very standard gin and tonic with a slice of lemon on a hot day. In fact, I think I might go and have one now. No, it's the middle of the afternoon, too early. And your favourite mystery series? 
one that probably got me started thinking that I could write a historical mystery series is Elizabeth Peter's Amelia Peabody series set in Egypt in the um, early 1900s. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me, Alison. You can check out Terror in Topaz. Terror in Topaz, all things being wi willing, um, will be out on October the 18th in print and digital and hopefully in audio, if not by the by Christmas, at least in the early new year.